Can you hear that? That is the sweet sounds of milk being viciously pulled from my breasts. Hi guys, I am home and I am in the middle of crazy tour prep. I don't know how to have short hair, guys. We had it for the Broadway run and I was excited about it for the Broadway run. By excited about it, I mean I was really scared. And now it's short. I don't know, like I normally put it up in like a high messy bun or ponytail, but it all just falls out because it's short. Someone needs to teach me how to have short hair. This week is crazy. I'm gonna try my hardest to vlog every little day, every single day, even if it's just a little bit. <laughs> because I'm prepping for tour. Get tickets if you haven't gotten tickets yet. Please guys, I am really excited about this tour. It's my favorite show I've ever done. It is not, if you've come and seen a Miranda show before, it is not the same thing you've already seen. It's a completely new show, totally different. Starts off as Miranda, but then I do a lot of new stuff as a me, and it's really fun. I love it, so get your tickets. I leave in one week. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. So that is the deal, y'all, and I'm pumping my boobalicious, and it's taking forever. I'm gonna focus on this while I'm editing, but get tickets to see me on tour. Here's Daisy, by the way, my little kitty kitty. I missed her so much while I was gone, and she missed me too. She like won't leave my side. She just has been laying on me everywhere I go, following me around. She's a sweetie. Today I need to, um, I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of editing to do, but then um, also tomorrow is Eric's birthday, so I have to wrap his presents. Um, okay, goodbye. What are you doing, little boy? Are you eating my camera, little boy? Is that yummy? You silly boy, you getting snot all over the land. With mama. You could keep doing it with mama. He knows how to give kisses now, kind of. I'll try to show you. Can I have a kiss? Oh, oh thank you for my kiss. Can I have a kiss? Can you give me a kiss? Thank you for my kisses. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Thank you for my kisses. I love my kisses. He's so sweet. Yeah, that's funny. He is such a mama's boy, and it's my favorite thing. He just loves me. It is my favorite. I haven't talked too much about it. Hold on, I'm gonna try to zoom this out. I don't talk too much about how he is the biggest mama's boy in the world. If, excuse you, am I boring you, Flynn? Uh, oh, yes. We are in the same room. I have to be holding him by his request. I have to be kissing him. I have to be playing with him. He has to be holding on to me. He's my little monkey koala boy. Mm. Can I have a kiss? What? Thank you for my kisses. Okay, bye. Look at this big boy. We're shopping for daddy's birthday. You got the champers. You got the champers, Flynn. She got the champagne. <laughs> Silly boy. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday to me. It's Eric's birthday today. Happy birthday, lovey. Happy birthday to you, lovey. We had birthday breakfast burritos. BBBs. Because Eric loves a wrap. Put anything in a tortilla and Eric is the happiest man alive. So we put our breakfast in a tortilla. And um, we had nice breakfast burritos and now we're going to the park with our little son even though it's up a jillion degrees outside today. We're gonna still try to enjoy being outside. We wanted to get Flynn a haircut, but apparently every kid haircut place in Los Angeles is closed on Tuesdays. Like what is that? So uh, we can't get him a haircut today, which is a total bummer, but hopefully soon we can do that. Yep, that's the plan. First ice cream Happy cone. Happy birthday, Flynn. It's vegan grape sorbet with a vegan cone. <laughs> vegan buddy. cone free. Is that gross? He yeah. loves it. Yummy, huh? Life changing. Is that yummy? Did I put that on your teethies? Yummy? <laughs> so for Eric's birthday, we're shopping right now. It's one of his requests on his birthday, and he said he gets to pick out my outfit tonight. So we're at the mall, and he's by. He's picking out clothes for his child. First of all, he wants me to wear this. But this is the outfit. I'm like, I'm down with the skirt and the shirt. But this, but this is her thing, so, okay. Eric is going crazy. You have bought me the craziest stuff today. I'm going out for dinner for my birthday, and I'm dressing you for dinner. You're yeah. Going straight to the restaurant from here. He's picked out the outfit. Now he's saying we need a jacket. But I just got the shoes, which are crazy shoes. But I like them. They're yellow. Yellow shoes. Happy birthday. I don't think I've ever owned yellow shoes. Happy birthday. Now we're looking at other things. How about that pink shirt? 
Okay, so Eric feels we have finalized the outfit that he has chosen. For you, for my for birthday. Me, for your birthday. <laughs> this is the before. I wonder if the microphone picked that up. I hope so. I might need to wipe. Oh, I might need to wipe. Happy birthday, Amy. You're a disgusting pig. You pig donkey. You disgusting piece of Boy, watch out. <laughs> okay. And here is the after. Reveal. Fashion, 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 fashion. I'm a stylist, I'm a stylist. <laughs> this headband is crazy. Oh, no, it's cool, man. Oh, yeah. This is the coolest you've ever looked. Cinderella's ready for the ball. To me. You like it? Are you happy? Yeah, I love it. It's great. I'm good, great. Thank you. And we're going with this head thing. Yep. You like the head thing? Yep. Thank you, girl. Let's get some guy. sush. Let's get some sushi. Happy birthday. Hey guys, it's a few days later and at the end of Eric's birthday, I actually was like cuddled up in bed and I filmed a little clip on my phone and my phone's not working because um, I let Flynn play with it. Flynn's favorite toy in the whole world is my cell phone. So he sucks on it and chews on it and I know it's full of germs, don't come for me. I try to clean it as often as I can because of how much he loves it, but he does like to chew on my phone and he ruined <laughs> the phone so now the microphone on my phone doesn't work audio thing like I can't hear people when they call me and when I film stuff on it you can't hear anything so none of the footage I filmed that night is usable but I do want to reiterate what I said in the clip um, because it's important to me I basically was all mushy and talked about Eric and how amazing he is I feel so lucky to have that man in my life we have always said like we feel like our connection and our love for each other, it goes so far beyond love. It's like this just, we're supposed to be together. Like it is that he's my person and I am his person. And I don't know how we got so lucky that we're able to be together. Like it's, we feel like both of us are like, we don't deserve this kind of relationship. We don't deserve this kind of love. Like both of us feel that way about each other. Cause it's like such a deep, I can't even explain it. There aren't words to explain how we feel about each other. I hope every girl and every boy in the world finds a partner like him. The fact that it was his birthday, it's his birthday, it's his day, and I was like, we can do whatever you want, we can go wherever you want, we can do anything you want. He wanted to get a haircut for Flynn and spend time with Flynn and go to the park with Flynn and me. And then he was like, I wanna to go to a mall. And he loves to shop, so I was like, oh, that makes sense, he wants to go to a mall, okay. We go to a mall and we get there and he's like, I want to get you an outfit, I wanna dress you. And he spoiled me, we got, uh, you know the skirt and the shirt and a jacket and boots and a belt and sunglasses and headbands and we got more stuff too like he just like he wanted to like get me an outfit and pamper me and spoil me and I know it's because I've been stressed lately and um you know kind of been a mess and I know he just wanted to make me feel good and make me feel special on his birthday like who does that? Like, what kind of person are you? Like, like, what a sweet, wonderful, wonderful man. Anyway, his birthday wasn't just taking me to the mall. Um, we are going this weekend away on a little trip together to the beach and um, having like a night, just the two of us, which we haven't done since the baby was born, like completely leaving just him and me uh, just for a night. but. Uh, away from the baby. We've never done that. So we're having a little night to ourselves and um, a little romantic getaway. And then I also have another trip planned for him later this year. When we showed up at the mall, I thought I was going to be taking him on a shopping spree and buying him a bunch of stuff. And it, he just wanted to do it the other way around. And um, he's a sweetheart and I love him so dearly and everything he does in life i'm like so proud of him i'm his big, biggest cheerleader and i just think he's the most incredible talented guy in the whole world 
and it's really cool that I found someone who feels that way about me and I feel the same way about him and we're just each other's biggest supporters and there's no jealousy there's no animosity there's no competition it's all just like supporting each other and loving each other through everything we do and we're also just such good friends like we laugh together and like we always say like going to the grocery store has never been more fun until we found each other like stupid mundane silly things driving to get gas in the car like and we will laugh so hard and find new fun things to have inside jokes about and he's just wonderful and I feel really lucky that I get to be with him and have him in my life and yeah yeah I just wanted to say that happy birthday to my love my lovey my forever person um, I feel just the luckiest girl in the world it's amazing yeah anyway I love you guys um, I'm just continuously getting ready for tours so make sure to get your tickets if you haven't gotten them yet and I'll see you maybe tomorrow okay bye Big tour of your entire lives. <laughs>